Hey guys, so um, right now I'm working on a on a burn-in on another piece of furniture. But I figured I'd stop and kind of go over what a burn-in is. A burn-in repair is more of an old school furniture repair technique. You don't see it used as much today. There's, there's other faster options, but um, I still do like to use a, a, do a traditional burn-in because it's very strong repair. And what a burn-in is, is where you have a burn-in knife, which is this. This is electric. Uh, if you're really old school, you have one that you heat up with a flame. But I like the electric ones. And um, what, what you do is melt hard shellac or acrylic material inside of your damaged area on finished wood. This is for wood that's already been finished with a hard finish like lacquer or conversion varnish. So this is a teak shelf here off of a Danish piece. This, this originally had conversion varnish. Now I've already um, done some tests and stuff and used this as an as a instructional piece about vinyl sealer and lacquer. So that's what this has on it currently. So what type of repair that the burn-in works for is a depression in the wood, a gouge. And it's going to be probably difficult to see, but this is a gouge in the wood. I can catch my fingernail in it. So it, it wasn't scratched or scraped, it was gouged. So the wood grain is still there. Wood grain's not damaged. Um, and again, this is for something that already has a finish on it. If it doesn't have a finish, you could probably steam that out. But you don't want to sit there and sand on a finished piece if all you need to do is repair a little gouge. So what it requires is an electric burn-in knife and a regulator for that burn-in knife because you don't want the, the burn-in knife getting too hot uh, because it'll melt, it'll bubble the material that you're doing your burn-in with and you don't want that because the bubbles will remain in there. So what you want to do after your burn-in knife is hot uh, you just melt a little little bit of material on there and this is a hard acrylic stick that I'm using. It's getting harder and harder to find because not many people are doing these. And then you just you just gently work it into the gouge and you let it sit. Okay, so now that I have the uh, burn-in material melted into the gouge, you know, and, and the way you do it is you don't want to you don't want to really push it in there because you're doing that later to level it out. So this is all proud here. You can feel that. And so what I want to do now is take what's called burn-in balm. And what this does, this is a paste. And what this does is prevents the burn-in knife from melting the surrounding finish or burning the wood. So pretty simple. All you do is you know, put your finger in there and work some around the repair area. And you want it oversized because you want it, um, because you, you want it at least the width of your burning knife, probably a little bit more. You always need to have a rag handy. So what we want to do now, now that the burning material is hardened and I have the burning balm, so now we're going to level it. So what you do is you take your knife and you want it you don't want it completely flat, but just at an angle here. But you want to use firm pressure and just drag it and wipe it. And keep working the burn-in balm around so nothing burns. And you're gonna you're gonna start feel start to feel the knife level this material. And we're nearly there right now. Looks like we're just about there. One more pass. I'm using firm pressure, but I'm not overdoing it. And then you just wipe off your burn in balm. And in a repair situation, an in home repair or something like that, you'd want to spray a little lacquer over the top of it to finish it off. But there you go. You can't feel it, and you really have to look hard to see it. And that's going to be a nice permanent repair. It's going to be a very hard repair, so it's going to be durable. Permanent repair, it, it was quick and easy, relatively.
you know, you spend probably about a hundred bucks in tools and material to do this kind of work. And it just gives you a really nice repair. So we'll see you on the next video.